the three words chaos, causes, and cosmos. C-H-A-O-S. Let's say concept here. And as, but if you take the word as, A-S, there's an O in between it. So whatever is ongoing in between this act and the source, there's something ongoing between it. So it's a concept here, acting, ongoing, of source. Because it's all, all sources together, not cooperating. Basically, that's chaos. <clears throat> then we go into causes. Character, the H is gone, because it's already not here. But it has A-U, it has the two vowel thing, the two feminine vowels, and it's the first vowel and the last known vowel, we'll say, the one vowel and the five vowel, which is an energy thing, five is an energy, because E is energy, if you go A, B, C, D, E, one, two, three, four, five, five and ten are the big energetic letters, that's why they're easy to count by, obviously, so five represents energy, E is five, and when you get into the divine feminine, U is five, Six is also something I'll throw in real quick. Six is the human world constant, like the human world regularly known thing. So if it's a Y, which is the sixth vowel, then that's one of those human things, like A, B, C, D, E, F. F is the sixth letter in the, of the alphabet, so therefore it represents familiarity and family, things that we consider famous or that further, fourth. All those kind of things. Force. You know, fear. That's a, that's a human thing. That's a six. That's why six, six, six. There, six, six, six. Eh, six, six, six is such a feared force. It's F. But anyway, then you get into C, A, and then U. So it's concept, active, unit. Source, energizing, or expressing source. So that's what causes are. They're things that we have... A, acting, concepts, acting or concept of action in the unit or unitarily or say like unanimously we identify it as the subject that expressed the sorts, cause, or that is subject that expresses, the subject expression. But when I say cause is, since it's plural, it would be the subject expressing the subjects or the sources. So then you get into cosmos, like you could spell it funny different ways. But I would say cosmos is C-O-S-M-O-S. -S. So you have C, which is the unseen sense concept, ongoing source. It's unseen, ongoing source. Okay, cause, C-O-S, manifesting, ongoing source or subject. So cosmos, that's what's going on. So it may seem basic and simple, but that's why I use those certain exact words because you can say energy or you can say energetically or you can say expressing or you could say expression because there are the same words just in different tenses and because we're moving in time we have to use tenses according to whether we think it's the past the present the future or figuratively or from my point of view or from your point of view or from a third person point of view that's how we have to use this word system we are doing it that's why some words are off of the shape of the letter, some words are off the sound of the letter, and some words are off of just what the letter is in number, if you count it in the alphabet. Like a lot of A, M, N, that's because A is 1, M is 13. The first half of the alphabet is finished right there on 13. N starts the second half, which is an A and a half, and N is an A and a half. So if you would fold that on top of each other, you would have an A, and then you would have an N, and you would have it folded back with it going backwards. So that's why N is negative when you start that way, when you use that expression of it. It doesn't always mean that it is. Nature isn't negative. It just means nature, like not applicable, plus a unit reoccurring expression. Nature. Like, we don't know. When I say not applicable with N-A, just like we use it on terms, we could just say nature or neural activity or nature activity because we're using the word nature i'll say i'll say neuro or neural like for your mind what we think in the mind or now activity plus unanimous recognized expressions that's what nature is even if you say that's human nature that's what you would say neurally activity plus the unanimous recognized expression that's human nature that's nature that's what the nature of things are that that's literally what it is so every word 
is expressed by its math. And and when people really get it and don't want to say, oh, well, that does work, but I like the way it was taught before. Well, the way it was taught before may have some things that are correct, and they'll seem correct, because of course they'll be correct if you went along a system that says, that's the answer we're looking for, good, good job. We're going to reward you for getting the answer we wanted you to get. Now, math makes sense when you add them together because they're shapes and letters. But when people tell you about history, or tell you about a question, or tell you about trivery, or, uh, trivia, and you get the questions right, you're just getting a good boy, good girl award for getting the answer that they wanted you to get. So if you go around saying, we fight to protect our country, that's not right at all. But a lot of people say it. So if you say it, you're giving them the answer they want to hear. So since you're giving them the answer they want to hear, you feel like you're right. And they think that you're right. But you're not right. In fact, you're taking others' rights away by walking around thinking that you know the rules when others don't. There are no rules. There's just living consciously. And many of the people who think they're enforcing rules are so unconscious. That's why it's a big deal that we bring this to everyone's attention. There's no one who's in the wrong more than someone else. Because when everyone's unconscious, they're all unconscious on one level or another. And they're propagating and they're just causing more of the misunderstandings to continue. So we have to start where? Right here, right now. Everyone thinking about what they're doing no matter how hard it seems. And you can do it. I know you can.